Okay, so in our previous chapter, we had installed our ops agent for an individual virtual machine. The link to that video I will send in the description below. So what if you want to install your ops agent for a fleet of virtual machines and you do not want to bother about installing it manually one by one, then what you would want to use is something called as a managed agent policy. So let's see how we can install it for a fleet of virtual machines. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your console. You need to open your compute engine and you need to install something called as virtual machine manager that you will find in the OS configuration manager. So just open this. Now virtual manager, virtual machine manager is something that I will explain in the upcoming chapter. So for the time being, just remember that you just need to enable this virtual machine manager. So if you click on this virtual machine manager, it will get enabled automatically. So what this will do is it will do two things. It will not only enable this particular API, but it will also enable a few metadata variables as well. So if you go to the metadata now, click on metadata. You can see that these two key variables also get populated along with your virtual machine manager API. So let's click on this again. So you can see that it has got enabled. So just to check, just to verify whether it has got enabled, you can just again go to your APIs and services. And here, if you just click on enable APIs and services, and just type virtual machine manager here, and if you just click on the result here, you can see that the API is currently enabled. So that is the first and the most important thing that you need to do. Okay, so after you've enabled this, the next thing that you need to run is a gcloud command. So this is the gcloud command that you need to enable. So this command I will give in the description below. So here, the most important thing is basically the agent rule and the OS type. You need to mention which for which particular operating system you want this ops agent to be installed. And again, the agent rule here also needs to be mentioned. So the agent rule here is of type ops agent. Now there are three different varieties. There is, there is one for ops agent, there is one for logging, and there is one for monitoring. So what we need currently is ops agent installed. So that's the reason why I've given this type as ops agent. You can also mention the version. So if you do not mention the version, then it will pick up the latest version, but you can also mention it as the current major and whether you need the package state to be installed or uninstalled. So the default here is also installed. So I mentioned is that mentioned it as installed. So this is again, not mandatory. And again, whether you know, we want to enable the auto upgrade. So I've said this to true as well. So you can go through the documentation for this particular command that also I will give in the description below. So you can check out all the varieties that are available for the agent rules, but just be aware that these two are the mandatory fields, the type as well as the OS, that you want it to be installed in. And also, so now here you can also mention the label of the instance for which you want this particular ops agent to be installed, but that is something that you can do on your own. So that doesn't require much intelligence. So let's copy this. And all that I need to do is I just need to paste it in my G Cloud, Cloud Shell. So let's open our Cloud Shell. Okay, so let's run this particular command. So again, this command I will give in the description below. So you can just run this as it is. And you can see that our policy has been. Okay, so we've run this command. So let's list this particular command once. So what you need to do is just run this particular command. This, this, this command also I will give in the description below. So just run this command and it will list all the policies that we have. So currently this is the policy that we had created. So it works fine. So now all that we need to do is we just need to create a virtual machine and that virtual machine will have ops agent enabled. So let's do that. So let's go back to our compute engine VM instances. And let's create a virtual machine. So let's click on create instance. And here the important thing to note is you have to create a virtual machine that has Debian as the operating system because that is the configuration that we had given. So this would be again instance one. Let's make this as E2 micro. And the boot disk is important. So if you click on change here, so it has to be a Debian operating system else it doesn't work. So make sure that you give Debian because we had configured it for Debian. So based on how, which particular operating system you want, you have to make the same change here as well. And the version as well matters because if you go through the command, 
the version that I had given for Debian was version 10. So not only does the operating system matter, but also the version that I had used. So here it will only work for Linux 10, Debian Linux 10. So make sure that you do not forget to uh, change that as well. So let's click on standard persistence. So I'm doing the standard persistence so that it falls under the free tire. So let's click on select and let's create our instance. Now let's click on create. Okay, so our instance is created. So let's click on this instance once. And now if you go to the observability, you can see here that the OS agent, ops agent has been installed. So what exactly can you check with the ops agent? Now, not only can you check these matrix, but you can also check the logs as well. So let's see what all can be checked using our ops agent. So the first thing you can do is you can go to your logs, logging. And here, if you go to your resource, you can go to your virtual machine instances. Click on add. And under the log name, using your ops agent, you can check the system log for that particular instance. You can click on this and click on add. And you can check it for any particular instance that has your ops agent installed or for all the instances. So click on run query. So th these are all the logs that are generated by the instances. So these are the logs that you can. Now, apart from the logs, you can also check out some monitoring matrix as well. So to do that, again, let's go to a navigation bar. Now under monitoring, you can just open your matrix explorer here. Now, once you've opened your matrix explorer, what you can do is you can search for your VM instance here. Now here, because we've added ops agent, there are a few extra matrix that gets added. Now to search for that, again, just click on this and just type agents here. And anything that start with, starts with agents dot is basically because of the ops agent that we had installed. So for example, things like memory utilization, etc. Memory usage, memory utilization. These are because of the ops agent that we had installed. So let's click on memory utilization. And here you can see the memory utilization for all the instances. So currently you can also filter it for filter it out for one particular instance. So these are all the new matrix that got added because of the ops agent that we had installed. So that's it for this lecture. I hope this was useful. I'll see you in the next.